Yo, what is good? Uh, back with another tier list. Today we are doing something very near and dear to my heart, just like Pokemon. Uh, you guys will notice the theme. A lot of these things are just going to be things very near and dear to my heart. Uh, so today we have World of Warcraft expansions. Um, just a little quick background. I've been playing World of Warcraft since like the last couple months of vanilla. Um... Burning Crusade was just just coming out, um, I think like a month after I started playing, so I consider myself more of a Burning Crusade guy. Um, but yeah, we're going to we're gonna rank the expansions. I am noticing that Shadowlands is missing. Don't worry, we'll still go over that. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think actually we're going to do similar to what we did with Pokemon. We're going to go kind of from the newest to the oldest. Um, and although I don't have Shadowlands, uh, let's, let's go ahead and just, let's just go ahead and start with the worst. Uh, Shadowlands is probably my least favorite. Uh, I am a bit of a, a bit of a lore nerd when it comes to World of Warcraft. I've got like the, the three version, versions of, uh, Chronicle. Um, I've done some of the reading through, uh, some of the novels, or at least at the very least, you know, maybe like novel or something, I'll go through his, uh, explanation of it. Um, and Shadowlands just, <sighs> you know what I mean? It just kind of made a fucking mess out of everything. Um, a lot of things that just really weren't worth a anything. I mean, I, I remember just... The biggest eye roll in the world uh, with the Jailer cinematic, the, the the ending of it was like, oh, cool, man, you're just another bad guy who is just trying to do the right thing. Oh, haven't seen this fucking a million times before. Uh, so, yeah, not a huge, not a huge fan of that. Also, I mean, all of that, you know, getting Sylvanas in the spotlight also led to Vol'jin dying. And Vol'jin was like the, the dude, man. He's like my favorite uh, you know, like, lore character at the time. So, yeah, Shadowlands would be a D tier for sure. Uh, I, I'm just doing the basic tiers today, uh, mainly because I really didn't just think enough of, of like, fancy titles. But, um, yeah, the Shadowlands sucks. Uh, Battle for Azeroth, it's going to be a C. There were things about it that I really enjoyed, and then there's a lot of things about it that I definitely didn't enjoy. Um, I think the only reason this one really isn't D tier is... Uh, the time of my life I was going through when this expansion was relevant. Um, I have a lot of, I guess, good memories of just being able to play BFA and kind of get away from existing for a while. So uh, I, I, I look back on it fondly because of that. Uh, however, just... I mean, it really wasn't a very good expansion. Let's just be honest. The, the game was kind of a mess. But I like I said, I really liked... Um, you know, being able to get away from the world during this, so not really a whole lot to say. It was just okay. Uh, next, Warlords of Drainers. This might surprise some people, but I I'm gonna put it in B tier. Uh, the potential of Warlords of Draenor would have probably put it in like A or even potentially S. Um, but it was obviously like an expansion that kind of just got like abandoned, you know probably not even halfway through man it was it was such a mess you know the infamous selfie camera patch uh but i still remember the first character i played was a shadow priest uh going into draenor i remember going to frostfire cavern and like audibly saying wow um <laughs> get it uh but uh the, the art team has always done, like, a really, really good job. I don't think anyone can ever hate on that. And Frostfire Ridge was just so freaking beautiful. So, um, that was really good. And then I just, I had a lot of fun with PvP in this expansion. Um, I'm just a casual pvp -er. I don't do a lot of arena. I did do some arena uh, with a buddy of mine this expansion. But just all the classes were in, like, still a pretty good place. I was still having fun with a lot of those, um... Uh, I played a hunter, and hunter was just, oh my god, it was so much fun. And I'm actually realizing now I totally miss Legion. We'll go to that before this. But uh, uh, the biggest disparity between Warlords and Legion for me is what they did to Survival Hunter. Um, Rain Survival uh, from Wrath of the Lich King and on uh, was my main for pretty much everything. Uh, so much freaking fun, and this is the last time I got to play that, so... Uh, Legion is, I'm going to rate it, if I can get it above, 
it's it's like a high B, low A, kind of like a similar thing to you'll probably notice on on the later expansions is like there's a lot of good and like a lot of potential. I just feel like they drop the ball in some aspects. Uh, I, I feel like Legion was kind of the first like feels like a chore expansion. Uh, there was at least early on, obviously like. The, the later the game goes and the patches, it becomes a little more fun because you can catch up easier. I will totally disclaim that uh, uh, I'm an altaholic. I, I can't just play one class. I might have a main, but like I have to play everything. It's just more fun for me that way. Um, so it was just like one of those things where you just couldn't. Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and put it firmly in A tier because the next point I was getting ready to make, uh, no matter how... Uh, device of it is uh, demon hunters got introduced and I freaking love playing demon hunter um, They're super easy obviously super OP for I mean a lot of legion good amount of BFA There's just they're they're definitely like a noob class They're they're pretty simple to play pretty easy to play, but they're super fun double jumping is just incredible I love mobility based classes uh, being able to run around or like I mentioned with Warlords and, like, Hunters, like, shooting and running around is just... Mobility is just so dope, and you can't really put, like, a, a price on that. Um, so, next. Miss of Pandaria. Yep. Putting that nest here. Uh, Miss of Pandaria is fantastic. Uh, all the, the memes of Kung Fu Panda and such aside, um, monks are so freaking cool. Although they've also been kind of dumbed down. I didn't like them in... I, I actually liked them in Legion last. They were still pretty fun in Legion. Um, but Monk, super sick. Once again, super mobile. I like that they started at level 1. It was the first new class that started at, a, a, at you know, the, the first level. So they were super fun to level. Um, just super fun to play in general. Uh, this was maybe the last time... I know I did a little arena in, in Warlords, but this is probably the last time I did like serious PvP. Uh, and Enhancement Shaman was just so goddamn busted. Um, if you didn't get CC'd, uh, you pretty much like just one-shotted uh, people with a full combo. You pop your Ascendance, your Elemental, you Storm Strike, and you kind of just watch their health go away. It was super cool, it was super fun. Uh, the raids, uh, something I haven't really talked much about. I'm not a big raider. I kind of go back and do them, or I do, uh, you know, the dreaded LFR. Um, I just like to see the content. Uh, rating just isn't my thing, really. Um, but Mr. Pandaria had a lot of good things. Uh, something I didn't even mention yet. Timeless Isle was unbelievably fun. Uh, still had some friends and family who played the game at that time. So we would make big groups and go, you know, PvP. Uh, just a blast, man. It was such a such fun expansion. Almost all of the classes, uh, you know, were an absolute blast to play at the time. I know, like, a lot of people talk about the glory days of their class and a lot of them were in miss of pandaria so s tier for me cataclysm ah oh, man cataclysm is kind of a tough one because i know this is like where people think things went wrong um it's also really tough to follow uh wrath of the lich king uh, kind of nowhere to go but down at that point so um there's that but cataclysm was still i think really fun i know they dumbed down talents uh but i don't really care what people say i mean after playing classic and burning crusade classic there's a lot of just like dead points man you don't need five points for five percent crit you can have three points for like five percent crit or six percent crit like the 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 insane amount of talent points just kind of felt it just it wasn't really necessary i didn't really mind the squish of that uh, Cataclysm had a lot of really cool areas. I actually really like the Old World revamp. Uh, my favorite area to quest through was the, the Barrens and the Southern Barrens. So, uh, a lot of nostalgia on the Northern Barrens side, but then Southern Barrens with, like, the gigantic lava scar through the middle was, like, I don't know, man. I think it was super cool. I like that old content or old areas became relevant again, even if they weren't exactly how people remember them from Classic. Obviously, now we have classics, so if you want to go back and enjoy those, I mean, please feel free. It's obviously super cool to see those old areas the way that they used to be, but 
I think Cataclysm was great, man. Uh, the the classes were st still in a pretty good spot, even with the reduced uh, reduced talents. The zones were dope. I freaking loved uh, finally getting to see Mount Hygel outside of that god awful raid. So, yeah, I, I I'd put Cataclysm in a B. Depending on the day, sometimes could even maybe be worked into like a low A. I I really enjoyed Cataclysm. Wrath of the Lich King, uh, that's obviously, I mean, I don't think this shocks anyone. Probably, I don't know, Mist and, and Wrath can actually switch once again, depending kind of on the day and how I'm feeling. But Wrath of the Lich King was phenomenal. Uh, having Arthas as the big bad, you know, that's that's a big deal, whether you're a lore nerd or not. People know who the Lich King is, even if you don't play World of Warcraft for the most part. So, Wrath of the Lich King was fantastic. This was probably the last time I did any type of serious raiding. Um... I remember Shadow Priest, Troll Shadow Priest, I, I got to get into ICC. Uh, I think we, the only, I, I didn't kill the last two bosses, I think was the only thing, so that was still exciting. Um, Death Knights, infamous, but holy crap, were they super fun. I still remember uh, shortly after the expansion came out, of course, going through the, the Death Knight starting zone was super fun. The, the kind of story behind it and like learning your class. Um, and then popping out in Hellfire Peninsula, and then just five manning ramparts and blood furnace and slave pens, and being able to do that was just so sick. Um, it was also obviously, you know, Blood Death Knights could still DPS, and I love Blood DPS because you're obviously super tanky. You're healing yourself constantly. You could solo just about everything. Uh, Unholy was just busted as hell. Being able to come back, you know, after after death as a ghoul was uh, super overpowered. Uh, but I mean, they were the first hero class, so I guess you can cut Blizzard a little bit of slack, maybe, kind of. Uh, Wrath just had uh, fantastic zones. Uh, Shalazar Basin sticks out to me. I had so much fun there. Dragon Blight is incredible. Uh, Storm Peaks, uh, another just really standout zone. I really like the idea of it. Even though I didn't have epic flying back then because I was a noob. Um, it's super fun area to just fly around. Uh, I hope, you know, the next time you're there you get to see a time lost proto drake. I wish you good luck. Uh, Burning Crusade. So this is actually another tough one. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and put it in A tier. The only reason it's not in S tier is because I've like gone back to play it in, in classic with like the knowledge and stuff I have now. And I got to admit it's just not... All it was cracked up to be. Um, back in the day when I actually played it, when it was, you know, relevant content, when it was retail, uh, was when, I mean, World of Warcraft was exploding. All of my friends and family had this game, and we would always form raid groups, and uh, we were we were Horde, and we were on Kill Jade, and we were part of the Bloodlust Battle Group, if you guys remember Battle Groups, and it was just, it was a blast, man. It was so much PvP. We were, we were in, you know, some somewhat relevant guilds like known guilds on the server and uh i mean this is really where i started playing this is the first time i ever hit max level of course uh started on a hunter because you know easy super fun um and then i i remember i played a druid and a mage uh this was i raided very seriously i led raids back then it was super super fun i remember doing like zolomon for the first time leading that uh, I used to re uh, lead weekly Gruels, Kara, uh, Magtheridons, um, which was super cool. I actually got the Dragon Spine Trophy on my Hunter one time. Uh, not even reserved. I never reserved anything. It was just a slash roll, and I ended up winning. It was super great. Uh, had a lot of really, really good times in Burning Crusade. Uh, so if I had to rate, like, my times, it would be, like, an S, but if I had to rate, like, the expansion as an expansion, it just really wasn't my favorite. I know people like the idea of, like, atonements and stuff. Neat, kind of a neat idea, but, man, I just, like, I just want to, like, play the game and, like, experience some of the content. Like, if you can be good enough, uh, you know, kind of do your due diligence so you're not dead weight, then, like... You should be able to see the content, which is why I like LFR, for instance. It's like, just don't be completely brain dead and you're good. Um, so yeah, Burning Crusade, A. Once again, Legion and Burning Crusade could probably switch depending on the day. Um, and then World of Warcraft, the classic. This is a, another tough one. Because I played very little of it when it was relevant. 
but I played Classic, and once again with Classic, it is just not... Uh, Rose-tinted glasses, I think, is what everyone really loved about it. There's still, obviously, a crowd for it, but I I would rate it... I'd rate it B tier. It... It... The Burning Crusade was essentially Vanilla Plus. Uh, Burning Crusade kind of made the game better. Uh, it was... These two could, like, be one thing, and I wouldn't have complained. Um, instead of, like, an expansion, if it was, like, a DLC, you know, like borderlands for instance they play borderlands like every time they come out with like a new dlc or story or or whatever you know eh, it goes up like three to five levels and you know you get some new skills and some new gear like i would have been a hundred percent happy with that uh knowing what i know now obviously back then it was just like oh shit new expansion um but it was just like once again i know there's a crowd for it but it was so goddamn grindy uh I, I don't understand how it's super fun to just auto attack shit for like the majority of your time. Um, and then half the time when you do get to use abilities as like melee classes, you miss. Like there, there, there's just like little things like that. Like for me, it's always about the gameplay. Like more often than not, it's always about the gameplay. Obviously, lore uh, aside, uh, back in this day. It was about the gameplay, and the gameplay was just so freaking slow, man. And uh, that just wasn't... That's just not very exciting. Um, it kind of felt like a, a weird grinding simulator. It just wasn't... I don't know, you didn't have cool abilities to fire off, really. and uh, I don't know, man. I, I think I'm just beating a dead horse at this point. It was just a little too grindy for me. It, it wasn't as fun. It wasn't as exciting or flashy. Um... I don't miss having, like, one, uh, you know, spirit healer per zone. I don't miss having, like, one flight path per zone. I, I just... Not to sound like the Blizzard people, the whole, oh, you think you do, but you don't. Like, it's not that bad, but this is... I'm definitely one of the people who fall in that camp. It's like, I, I like convenience. I'm not, you know, 12, 13, 14 years old anymore, so it's... I don't have my entire life to just pour into into classics, so um, yeah, I think this is kind of where we sit. Like I said, Shadowlands is probably a D tier. Uh, the only thing that I can really think that Shadowlands brought that was super good was uh, Chromie Time. I love Chromie Time. Uh, fantastic addition. There's definitely some tinkering. I hope they do with it. Uh, I doubt they will because you know why would they? Uh, but it would be great if they did. It would be fantastic because Chromie Time is super fun. Um, yeah, this is kind of where we're at. I'm excited for Wrath of the Lich King Classic, obviously. I'll probably, I'll probably play that a bit, tinker with that. Um, even Dragonflight looks okay. Uh, obviously a new class, so I'll check that out whenever that does come out. But Wrath of the Lich King Classic should be great. Uh, excited for the pre-patch and just kind of remembering how to play classes. Uh, because Wrath of the Lich King just made Burning Crusade better. Um, it fixed just about everything that you could really think of. Um, mainly with the classes. All of your classes are fun. All of your specs are good. Um, there's just cool stuff going on. The raids are fantastic. The zones are fantastic. So yeah, I'd probably put Wrath still comfortably at the top with Mist right behind it. Um, I'm not sure... I'm not sure where we're going to be going after this, but I hope you guys stay tuned. Um, yeah, probably just going to be doing some tier lists lately. I have been writing again, so hopefully some more music will be coming soon. Um... Yeah, just trying to figure out kind of kind of what other content to do. I just I really love tier lists. They're so much fun. They can start conversations and do all that nice junk. So uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys checking it out. Once again, if you guys would like, share, subscribe, you know the whole spiel. Um, also, music in the background is my own music. If you guys would like to check it out, it's on this YouTube channel. It's in its own playlist. Um, or you can check it out on Spotify, which is also linked in the description. So I appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys take care and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Much love.